And, and you just mentioned China, which is so important. I remember uh, when I first got to know you when I worked in the Senate in the 1990s, I see an old colleague from the Economic Strategy Institute. You know, th there was a time where China coming into the WTO where permanent normal trade relations to basically do a ch ch China deal was controversial, but, but China was brought into the WTO. And then in the last few years, a lot of the firms that were involved with that, from General Electric to Boeing to just a whole variety of companies say, maybe we went too fast. Maybe we saw this, that, that China um, is not moving along the track that they had expected, particularly with the way that U.S. firms are treated inside the country with some of the subsidy side. And I'd be interested to get your take on whether bringing China into the World Trade Organization was a smart thing to have done, or were we too hasty? Did we kind of overlook, you know, cut too many corners? Well, I think it was important to bring them into the world trading system in part so that we would have the tools necessary to help engage with them about participating in a rules-based system and living by a rules-based system. And that's a, an ongoing project that we brought WTO cases against them. And uh, when they've been found to be in violation, we get them to implement changes to their system. But certainly it's an ongoing effort to make sure that they're playing a, 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 they're taking on responsibilities commensurate with the role that they're playing in the global economy. And that's one of the ongoing tensions in the, in the relationship between China and the global and trade system. how do you system. think they're doing? Do you think that China is absorbing and taking seriously the rules-based system? You know, I think there's a debate going on, as far as we can tell, mm -hmm. in, in China. If you look at some of the developments over the last year under President Xi, the, the, the third plenum in, in last fall said a number of very important things about where China wanted to head, how it wanted to reform its system, how it wanted to open its economy, uh, engage more in consumer-led growth, engage more in services. Those are all very good signs. And if they followed through on those in a meaningful way and opened up their economy, uh, I think it would be positive for them and for uh, their trading partners, including ourselves. But we also see a number of negative data points in terms of how they're dealing on particular issues. So I think there's a debate going on within China, and our job is to engage with them and encourage reform, and to also make clear that where they violate international rules, we will hold them to account. 